Okay, so we took a break. We're in a new location, hopefully new people. I've got a microphone, so it'll sound pretty good. Let's do it. Excuse me, uh, do you have time for a quick interview? Um, can you just tell me what you think when you see this picture? Um, kind of like posh, kind of like cracky, kind of like quite much like uni, like an old rolling club or something. What do you think he gets up to? Like quaff champagne and, you know, I don't know. Four people. And do you think it's fair to make these judgments just based on what you've seen? Um, it's probably not, but I suppose if you get to know certain people who dress a certain way, you just kind of stare at everyone else that way. It's probably not fair, but it's human nature. Thank you very much for your time. Hi guys, thanks for taking the time. Um, can I just ask you what you think when you see this image? Um, a bit oh weird, maybe. Um, what do you think this sort of person gets up to? Being <laughs> that. Mm. What do you think this? By the way, it's like, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, I think it's like swearing. Yeah. 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 Do you think it's fair to make these judgments? I mean, um, not, fair. not fair, but because we end the mood, the is very much. You yourself, you're, well, you're wearing skinny jeans, yeah. you're here, so I was going to say, yeah. would you describe yourself as emo? Yeah, I guess you would. Yeah. Um, do you think you get offended when someone calls you an email? Um, not really, no. Uh, and do you write poetry? And... Not really, more so. I do write songs. Well. So I've been here now for a good two hours chasing down the public, and to be honest, the majority of them don't want to talk. Um, some of them did, and especially the, the boy who was uh, emo, said he was emo, was, was really good, really chatter. But I, I think Aberdeen's maybe not ready to move on from the stereotypes. But, I think I'm going to have to take this one step further and find it for myself. The plan was simple. Approach the public. Ask for directions. Dressed as each stereotype. It all came down to this. Sorry to bother you. I, I don't suppose you know where Her Majesty's Theatre is, do you? Yeah. Turn that way. All right, yeah. Turn left and go straight up the street. Turn okay. right. Go so left and then right and then straight up. Okay, right. Thank you very much yeah. for that. Cheers. So that was me as the prep, and as I thought it would do, I did pretty well. The women was more than willing to talk to me. I just wonder how the rest of Aberdeen are going to fare when the social stereotypes come and talk to them. Next up is the geek. I don't suppose you know where Her Majesty's Theatre is, do you? Sorry? Her Majesty's Theatre? No, I don't know, but I think you do. Yeah, you just supposed to go through here. Uh -huh. Turn left just at the end of this mall. Okay. And just go straight up there. Okay, that's great. Thank yeah. you very much. Okay. Thanks for that. So, the nerd there did reasonably well. Uh, he got rejected oh, once, but um, overall quite good. Um, I don't know if it was more fear of the camera or fear of my outfit. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the rest of them get on the uh, emo and the chab. Excuse me, do you know where Her Majesty's Theatre is? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so that was the emo. Uh, it went really well actually. Uh, Someone stopped to talk to me straight away. Um, I don't know, maybe they felt sorry for me. Um, well, it's the turn of the chav next, and I'm very interested to see how he's going to turn it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, hey, excuse me. Uh, oh. As expected with the Ned, um, a lot of people not willing to stop and talk to me. Nobody wanted anything to do with me. And quite frankly, I don't blame them. I'm not dressed like this. My time as each stereotype had ended. The experiment and the whole experience had taught me a valuable lesson. Maybe I'm ready to move away from social stereotypes, but the majority of people don't seem to be. As long as there is people, there will be stereotypes. 
All I can hope is that maybe someday, people will realize that it's not clothes that define us, but ourselves who define us. Thanks for watching.